Hi everyone, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to be discussing the topic of scurvy on the carnival diet. One of the biggest questions I get on the carnival diet is, where are you getting all your vitamins from? What about vitamin C? Are you not getting scurvy? I mean, if you look at veterans of the carnival diet, such as Sean Baker or Anthony Chaffee, how are they not getting scurvy? Are they secretly supplementing? Is there something we don't know? Do they have resilient genetics? In this video, I'm going to answer this question. Well, the truth is, no, they're not secretly supplementing vitamin C. And it turns out, we don't actually get scurvy on the carnival diet, nor do we need as much vitamin C as normal people. Now, vitamin C is an antioxidant. Plants and carbs are an oxidant. So, in simple, if you stop eating plants or carbs, the need for an antioxidant to counter the oxidant is significantly reduced. And as you know, being on a carnival diet involves zero carbs, and hence, we don't experience anywhere near as much oxidative stress compared to typical high-carb diets. Therefore, we don't need very high quantities of vitamin C to counteract this stress, besides from what is found in meat. Wait, hang on a second. I thought meat doesn't have any vitamin C in it, does it? This is a misconception. This is a myth. Meat has vitamin C. Now, it might not have a lot of it, Sources of liver do, but it does have vitamin C. This misconception came around due to early testing methods, which led people to think there wasn't any vitamin C in meat, which in turn led to decades of not testing for it and to levels in vitamin C not being included in the USDA food nutrients database, which is where companies doing nutritional labeling, such as Fitbit and everyone else, draw their nutritional data from. Okay, so we've established that there is vitamin C in meat, but how much really is there? Well, in two pounds of grain finished beef, there is 10.86 mg of vitamin C, and in grass finished beef, 23.97 mg. Okay, sweet. Now that we understand how much vitamin C is in beef, now, we need to understand how much do we need to prevent scurvy from occurring. Well, as you can see, National Institutes of Health currently recommends that those between the age of 14 to 18 years of age need around 75 mg of vitamin C for males and 65 mg for females to prevent scurvy. And those over the age of 19 need 90 mg and 75 mg for male and female respectively. So in my case, I'm 18. I would need 75 mg of vitamin C to prevent scurvy. And as we discussed before, I only eat beef and I have around just under two pounds of beef a day. So I'm only getting roughly 20 mg of vitamin C According to these guidelines, I should have scurvy as I'm deficient in vitamin C, but I don't. So why is this the case? Well, maybe I have superhuman genetics. Am I lucky? Do I need to wait a few more months? Or are these guidelines incorrect? Well, the answer is actually the latter. The recommended daily requirements for vitamin C is so, so high because these requirements are tailored for people who eat garbage foods, high oxidant foods, such as carbs and plants. And being a carnival, I don't eat that stuff. So these guidelines are not actually suited for people like you and me. Well, how is this explained scientifically? Well, glucose, which is carbs in the form in the, found in your body, and vitamin C are both chemically very similar. They both fight for the same role in the body. So if someone eats carbs, the carbs goes up, your vitamin C has to also go up equally. But if you don't eat any carbs, the vitamin C does not have to go up and it can stay at very low levels. So in simple, with no carbs in your diet, your vitamin C absorption is maximized, so you need to consume a lot less of it than someone on the sad way of eating, the standard American diet. Now you see this in, for example, I'm from Australia, so people that came on the first fleet, where they came to Australia, they were um, like sailors in the boat, and they had a lot of starvation foods, they had a lot of rice, and they had a lot of um, vegetables, and they experienced a lot of scurvy. Now, they may have had some meat, but it was not fresh and it was very processed. So a lot of them actually got scurvy because as we talked about before, their carbs were super high. They didn't have any fruits or any fresh meat to go and match this to, you know, to counteract the oxidative stress. Interestingly enough, there was actually a study where they induced scurvy into people and they found that little as 10 mg of vitamin C a day was enough to actually reverse scurvy. I mean, they didn't even test for lower amounts. So it's not even necessarily the minimum amount. You may need less than 10 mg to prevent it. Wikipedia literally states, scurvy will improve with doses of vitamin C 
as low as 10 mg per day. Most people make a full recovery in two weeks. Now, I know Wikipedia isn't the most reliable source, but it's still something. So all the studies suggest that those that have zero carbs that are on the carnival diet need maybe as much as five to 10 mg of vitamin C to not get scurvy. And for most people, this is easily found in the beef that we eat. That's why no one gets scurvy on the carnival diet. So if you're on the carnival diet or you're thinking of going on the carnival diet, there is nothing to worry about. Supplementing vitamin C is not necessary to prevent scurvy and excess amounts can actually become pro-oxidant and slash or converted to oxalic acid and cause more harm than good. I mean, if you're really scared about scurvy on the carnival diet, have some liver. It's got a good amount of vitamin C and not too much to harm you, but enough to, you know, to calm your nerves. I mean, logically speaking, we've evolved in meat for millions and millions of years and no one has experienced scurvy except for extreme cases such as sailors and people with super high carbs. So it would not make sense for people like you and me to experience scurvy as our bodies have primed itself and evolved for millions and millions of years, adjusting in order to not get this disease. Feel free to send this video to a friend who's a bit skeptical about carnival diet and maybe ask questions about getting scurvy or not. Thanks for all the support and please consider subscribing. See ya.